dumb vibes is here to entertain you. Hey, Zansi. At this point, everyone really wants to assist in finding those who claim the rapper AKA's life. I mean, an icon like AKA didn't deserve that. At this particular point in time, everyone is doing everything within their power and capacity in order to track the responsibles so that justice may prevail. In today's video, Forensic expert discourages the sharing of the footage of AKA's claiming of life and says that anyone who leaks this particular thing is tampering instead with evidence is not helping the situation and of course making things more complicated because of reasons that I'm about to detail out to you all in today's video. So make sure you watch this video right up to the end please. Before that, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit onto my post notification bell. A forensic expert has criticized the leaking of the CCTV camera footage of the beloved rapper AKA's claim of life. Calvin Rafadi said, the person who initially distributed a video has essentially tempered with evidence in the claiming of life investigation of the iconic rapper. While South Africa continues to reel from the claiming of life of rapper Herman aka Forbes and Tebelo Tips Motswane, a video of the rapper's final moments has been circulating online. The beloved rapper, his life was claimed and of course his body taken down in what some people speculate was an organized hit outside a restaurant on Friday 10th February. A forensic expert cautioned South Africans to please refrain, withdraw, stop from spreading the CCTV footage because whoever initially leaked the video has essentially tempered with very vital evidence and of course it might disturb and distort the search that is already ongoing by the forces of law and order. Speaking on ENCA, senior forensic investigator Calvin Rafadi revealed how the footage was obtained raised eyebrows. The expert says the police should have supported the footage per court processes. Rafadi called for the person who initially distributed the footage to the public to be charged with gross negligence because the footage was extremely sensitive and could seriously hamper the investigation. That is according to him though, in as much as the population wasn't in full accordance with what he was saying. According to IOL, a criminal law expert, Anne Alice, the distribution of the video could cause serious complications such as vigilantism because of AKA status. So many South Africans still believed that sharing the video would instead help the police to find the culprit who claimed AKA's life, as some of the commenters went as far as even dropping very incited and heartbroken comments such as they failed to solve Senzo Meiwa's case for years. The public is busy solving this one for them. If they can't find the killers already, they will blame the public for sharing the leaked CCTV footage. But there was this one person that actually supported the movement and the person commented and I quote, They should be charged for sharing such sensitive material. We are so desensitized as humans. It would make any difference and opposition, of course. The case will remain unsolved any which way. It is very unfortunate all what is going on already, but we pray that everything comes to an understanding and that the culprits definitely be trapped sooner than later. Love you all.